Hey guys, uh, I'll be showing you how to implement images into uh, your game in this video. So yeah, so you can either use images from the internet or you can make your own images if you want to. But uh, basically the main idea is you need to have some sort of like image file here. So what I do usually is I um, Yeah, I make a new folder inside my source uh, called images, where I just keep all my images because it might get to be a lot. And uh, in this images folder, you can just, um, you see I have a image for the pill, which I'm gonna be doing right now. So you can just drag and drop this into the images folder. You can do copy files. And then you should see pill.png or um, whatever, whatever it is, but you just have to have it in here. And then make sure it's under source. So yeah, the next thing to do is uh, make an images class. So inside your uh, snake folder or whatever it's called, you want to make a class, just call it images. And then in images, um, we're going to be using this uh, thing called buffered image. So it's basically just a way to get the image from um, your computer and then put it in the game. So the syntax for using a buffered image is buffered image. And then since I'm going to be doing the pill, uh, I'll just call it pill. And then inside of this, um, you need a try catch loop uh, just because um, you're dealing with retrieving files from your system. So inside of here, you can put IO exception. Uh, you can just call it E, and then this shouldn't uh, really matter all much because if you do everything correctly, you'll never actually get an error. So that's just a way to see if you're doing something wrong. So inside the try, file, um, you can just call it file. I should probably... You should, you need to import buffered image, of course. And then file, file equals new file. And then here's where you put the um, like URL to your image. So you don't have to put snake because you're already in the snake directory, but you do have to put everything after that. So source slash images slash pill dot PNG in quotes, of course, semicolon. And then file input stream. You have to make a file input stream object. And then you just pass in the file that you just made. And you need to import file and file input stream and IO exception. Yep. And then here, so pill equals image IO.read. Uh yeah, that's that's okay. A file input stream object that you made. And now this should be all you need in the images class. So just save this. Yeah, click save. Um, and then go back to your snake. So whatever your main class is called, snake, whatever. And then you want to make a, a, an object. So images. Uh, I usually just call it images. 
it's the default constructor. So now you have an images object and you can basically just use this images object uh, when you're drawing. So uh, if, we, if we run the game right now, like where I haven't implemented it yet, Uh, yeah, you can see that like this little white dot here, that's the that's the pill, because um, as you can see in the code, I'm just drawing. I'm using the draw, the default draw, and then uh, pill basically extends rectangle and it just like fills this tiny little five by five square. But um, if I wanted to use this this image that I made in a few minutes. It won't show up because it's so small, but basically it's a little red um, dot. Yeah, so if you want to use that, then instead of pill.draw, oh, we can do win.draw image, and it'll give you all of these arguments that we won't be like needing, I think. Um, and then in draw image, you have images the object dot pill, and then the location would be pill dot x, and then pill dot y or whatever your object is called. I have mine called pill. Um, and a semicolon. It's giving me an error. Um, oh yeah, you do need um, this thing called an observer. So the observer, you can just uh, type in this. So yeah, I find that this usually always works. So this should, if everything has gone right, draw the pill. And there we go. We see that the pill is there. Uh, it is the red thing now and not the white rectangle. So this is like the basic functionality. You can extend this to any of the objects or like images that you want. You can use images from the internet. And then uh, it works even if like it's moving, like the if you want to put images on the snake, then uh, you just keep putting X and Y so then it would just update with the snake when it moves. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it.